the moment you've been waiting for. Hey yo everyone, welcome to the Complete Impact Podcast, and today I'm talking about the second episode of TNA's New York tapings. So, to kick off the show, we start with a no holds bar match between Bobby Roode and MVP. This match basically was, I'm gonna kill you or you're gonna kill me with a chair, a low blow, or whatever. In this match, Kerry King and Eric Young did interfere, but their interference was minimal. And majority of this match was hitting each other chairs. And for what it was, it was a really good start for um, this impact. I'm actually surprised that they did a hardcore right. For a feud between Bobby Roode and MVP, this was a really good first match. Uh, I see that they could do a lot more later on. Next, we have a segment with the Hardy Boys. With Jeff Hardy, who comes out first, limping because of his match with Bobby Lashley last week. And then we have a returning Matt Hardy. I bet you those New York fans were really freaking confused. Because last time they saw Matt Hardy was in Ring of Honor. And he was telling everyone that he was the best and, you know, he's a heel. Now he comes back to TNA and he's face. Pretty much their promo was to boost the X Division taping that's coming up. Next, we have the American Wolves come out and challenge the Hardys at Destination X for the Tag Championships. And this is going to be really cool. This segment did what I had to do. I enjoyed it. And um, I can't wait to see the Hardys versus the Wolves. That should be a really good match. Then we cut to DJ Zeon talking about how Robbie got over his fear of clowns. He challenges somebody to a match. Here comes Loki, the returning Loki. This match was a squash, but I'm really happy to see Loki back, and um, it's gonna be great to see them feud again at Destination X. This is helping Destination X look like a really credible, awesome show when it comes up in New York. Next up, we have two segments one with Dixie Carr talking to King Mo, which we could skip, and then the other one with where Anderson said that he would not deal with Shaw, you know, as a partner or anything else. So that was it. Tag Team Action as we have Ram and Magnus versus Anderson and Gunner. Pretty much this was just a squash match to show that Bram and Magnus mean business. And then at the end Abyss comes out to help him when Bram and Magnus are just beating up on Gunner and Anderson and here comes Shaw. Now we have Shaw, Abyss, Gunner and Anderson on one side and Magnus and Bram on the other side. So there's a feud going on there now. Next we have a segment between Bobby Lashley and Austin Aries who are pretty much just setting up main event for Destination X where Austin Aries cast in his X Division Championship to be in the main event. Next we follow that with uh, Terran versus Gao Kin for the championship. Very good match until the beautiful people interrupted. And in no contest, that was a disappointment. We have the Great Muta. The Great Muta looks really good here. I love he's got that mask here. His mask is so awesome. They put him against Robbie E in a pretty much just a squash match. But um, seeing him was actually kind of entertaining. Um, I know he's older and all that. And I- this match was just pretty much just to set up the segment next. Where we have Jim Storm come in and calls um, Grey Muda the Great Fraud and all that. And then he, you know, he spits on him with his beer. So, and he beats up his, um, well, his pussies that he has there from Wrestling 1. And then um, here comes Sonata with the chair. You think he's gonna help him? No, he spits on Muda and he beats the crap out of the other guy. I, I don't know who the other guy is. I don't think they really mentioned his name. If they did, I probably didn't hear it. But pretty much this is just building up a feud for our wrestling one pay-per-view and of course you probably won't see this, you know, finish on TNA. Next, it's main event time in a New York street fight. It's Tommy Dreamer, Team 3D versus E3, Rhino, and Spuds McKenzie. I mean, Rockstar Spuds. Anyways, this match is pretty much an ECW match. I think that I would say that it's 90 better than when Dreamer and 3D first, you know, feuded back in 05 at... You know, uh, one night stand, but this was pretty good for why it was. This match ends when Ezekiel Jackson interferes, and so does Snitsky. Oh my god, more WWE talent! Well, this works here because they're around New York, anyways. You have everyone there you have Dixie, King Mo, Rockstar Spud, E3, Rhino, Ezekiel, and Snitsky. Stand- you have him up there standing strong on top of their corpses saying, We own this place. New York is our place now. You guys are the relics and we're the new guys. So I can't wait to see how this feud ends. This is going to be a really good feud. Let's see if they put Dixie to a table. What did I think of the second episode of New York tapings? I enjoyed it. 
I think last week's had a better main event with uh, Jeff Hardy versus Bobby Lashley, but this week was just pretty much just set up for Destination X, and they really did a good job. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this: I am actually glad that TNA actually stepped it up in the New York tapings. These have been really good. Six sides is really working fine. The crowd's really into it. So next week we'll see what happens in New York, or what, or what it is. Destination X, baby, King of New York tournament. Plus the main event of Austin Aries versus Bobby Lassie. See you then. This has been Justice B. Botchin, the Latino legend. Peace.